What are those voices? Where am I? I know this place. I've been here before. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. I'd always dreamed of traveling. It was not the same without you, Harry. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling is it's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. I missed the sea so much when we moved to Denver. The Amazing Adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. All right, now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. I received a... Oh, I love this song. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think.
What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? I've still got to pack up. I've still got to pack up a few more things. It's a relief that I don't need it to walk anymore. was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? I've still got to pack up a few more things. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Sea. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. received a brass key with the letters CW engraved on it and some enigmatic instructions okay Nora from here on out you're We're on all your own. set madam the remote boat is ready Lower the motorboat, and be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days, then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world, just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This... this can't be a coincidence. Taking idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why?
There's definitely something strange about this place. If I can find I any trace of you around here, I do love listening to the sea in them. I know it's just resin. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. This box. CW? Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. A carving tool. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Hmm, something's missing here. That did something. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Well, look what's hidden here. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier, but a Polynesian version. It's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. I can feel the air is 
denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another Bone symbol fishing. inside it. bone fish hook. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. This is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this unu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. So somebody was on this island recently. A miniature va'a. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure, and by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth.
guess I hit the jackpot. That's my ticket across the river then. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. Wow, what is this place? I better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. Hmm, something missing here. like something straight out of an adventure novel. The Everhart Expedition. They set up camp here. Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. Some years ago. I made a rookie mistake. I did it from my fishing route to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour. Had gone. I went suddenly. My va'a. My canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. But it seemed like a sea creature I never seen. Anyway, I was lucky enough to reach that Whiteson beach. The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. Time passed, and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island, then? I need to know what happened to me, to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. Fascinating. Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. A forbidden ritual? Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I'm not sure if he looks angry or scared. So now you believe in magic, old pal? I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. I 
I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Got it. It's been ripped out of something else. Considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. Interesting. That Frank seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. did you get into, Harry? The parts of the tiki on this column seem movable. Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? Hey. 
Harry hated asking his parents for money to fund this expedition. The Everhards are a wealthy Boston family. Quite old-fashioned. You put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me. Where did you get this strange device, Harry? I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works, or what to do with it. The Harry Everhard I know would never have given up on this. Something must have happened that kept him from solving it. Black ooze. In a telescope? My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter, but I'm accustomed to writing you and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets. So many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Nora. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant, impulsive, and a little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened to him. Nobody deserves that. We may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry. <laughs> <laughs>